Hey guys, um, just hit 300 subs, pretty awesome, pretty stoked about that, and I thought I'd make a pretty uh, special video for you guys, so I've got kind of like a double video, I guess, I'm doing a speed art, and the speed art is, um, well I'll show that like now, it should be on the screen now, yeah, and at the end of the video, I'll be giving away two templates for logos, um, these are completely made by me, I made them from scratch by myself, so... I didn't copy them off anyone, and um, yeah, there's a there are two logo um, templates. One's like a circle logo, it's like nice reflections and stuff. And one's a uh, rectangle style logo, and they're pretty nice. So you can use them for a bunch of different things. And if you had like a Skype, um, something that yeah, one of the main reasons that inspired me to do this is if you wanted um, like links, like Skype, YouTube, something, just get like the black logo and you can just put it in. But I'll explain more at the end of the video, so yeah, make sure you watch the whole video to the end and um, the download links to logos in the description and I'll show you how to use them and brief think through them at the end. Yeah, thanks. Okay, um, these are the logos. I've got uh, the Sphere logo. Um, gotta take a little while to open up Photoshop. But, um, yeah, so this logo, it's pretty cool. Like I said, you can use this for anything. I made the text changeable, so you could either um, change the text to whatever you want, or you could get your own sort of logo and put that in and. Um, it can double to a lot of different things, and I'm trying to make this a really high resolution image, so it, um, usually logos are small anyway, but if you did need it for something big, like a wallpaper or anything, like a website, anything that needs to be um, a bigger image with more pixels, they're quite big images. I think this one's 1500 by 1500 pixels, and the other one's, uh, one, other one's a K, yeah, 1000 by 2000 uh, pixels, so... Um, yeah, and yeah, I've got the speed up picture on my screen because I thought it was pretty cool. Um, the speed up took me ages. I think it took me about like two hours, which is kind of weird, but yeah, I like it. I think it's a pretty cool speed art. Um, oh, hurry up, Photoshop. There we go. So this is the circle logo. The computer's just lagging a bit. It's kind of annoying. Um, yeah, there's a second one there. Um, it's got like these really cool reflections, which I just got like a bubble texture and like overlay it and change the opacity and stuff. So it looks really cool. It's like 3D and it looks pretty mad. It's got a bunch of different effects. These are the folders for the spheres, and they've got I've got like all the effects hidden for them. Um, because I try to keep it all nice and neat. So you don't really need to touch any of the orange things, but you can touch me. Um, it sounds, <laughs> it sounds really weird. Um. So you don't really need to do anything with them, but if you do like want to change the color or something, all you have to do is just go to the effects and change the color. But you just go to the text tab, double click on the text, you can change it to like a, a Y. Um, you might not have this font, so you're just going to have to use whatever font you have. So let's say my name was... Um, wow, that's really big. That's what she said. Um, you know what, I'm just going to control so this. So if you wanted like a name instead of just a one letter logo, um, uh, I mean, I'm screwing that up, aren't I? Just make it a bit smaller, drag the text box out, and then if you had like a really shitty name like Brian, no one likes the name Brian. <laughs> um. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can put the name there. And I made it so it looked kind of 3D, like engraved into the text 
engraved into the bubble or the sphere, whatever. So, yeah, you could use that for a bunch of different things. And let's go to the square, rectangle, whatever logo. It's here. Um, this one. Yeah, there we go. So, this one, I didn't want to make it exactly like the other one, so I tried to make it a bit different. I tried to make the text look so it's kind of like floating, like extruding out of the button. It's got like a nice reflection. Um, and you could use this for a lot of web stuff too. Um, that's That was one of the things that these buttons can double for. So if you had a website, right, and you could, these could double as your buttons. So that could be like your home button. And then you could have another one for like images and a bunch of different stuff. So... Uh, yeah, you can use, and you can use this bunch of stuff. So if you wanted to have like a HUD on your video, so if you did GFX or Call of Duty or anything, um, make videos, and you wanted some text or some nice images on the screen that could link you back to the, like your channel or something, you could put one of these and just say channel, put it in the bottom of the screen on your video, so that could look pretty good. So um, yeah, there's the images there, and I guess that's it. So yeah, just download them. And before um, before I go, if you download them and like them, please just like because the other ones they had like I think one of them are uh, the other templates. They're up to about ninety downloads, and the video has like ten likes or something. And it's kind of weird <laughs> if that many people liked it. It would be nice if they could like the video. So if you do like the templates, just give the video a thumbs up, and that'll really help me out. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and yeah, catch you later.